If you want to split your designs, you use Embed Editor. And one thing you are going to need is facsimile of your hoops. Now, if you don't own the Studio plugin, then find somebody who has digitizing software and who will create for you an outline just slightly smaller than the size of your hoop that you want your design to fit. Now in Studio, Edit, Preferences, Width, I'm going to say 150 to it, and 210. Okay. And I'm going to make my grid 2 millimeters because that's what I prefer. Apply. Okay. The hard way is to diminish your screen by clicking on the magnifying glass. Left clicking. So as you get the whole of your hoop in your screen. But like I said, that's the hard way. So we're going to pick up the outline tool. I want to set my minimum stitch length for 5 mils and my maximum stitch length for 7 mils. That way I can use this as a basting stitch. I've picked up my outline tool. I put a single node on my screen. I go to shape, rectangle, and I pull a rectangle. I don't care what size to elements. Generate stitches. Now I go to transform, transformation window, and I tell it I want it 139 millimeters wide. I tell it I don't want to keep aspect ratio. And I want it to be 199 millimeters long. And I tell that apply. Now it looks like it's disappeared off the screen. Or it's disappeared off the viewable part of the screen. There it is. And I want to bring that to the center. So I go to transform bring to center. There we go. Now it's in the center of that workspace that I created and we can see the whole of it. So now I go to design, save as, and I use a chair. But we'll save it as the UF for a minute and I want to save it into the folder where I have got the embered split. There we go. Embered split. Hoop 14 by 20. Save. Now I want to go into a new screen. Edit. Preferences. And this time, I want to make a hoop that's going to fit my smaller hoop. Now, I use a Janome machine. You might not use a Janome machine. Now, my Janome hoop is 110 wide, so I'm going to make that 115 because I want some airspace around me. Okay. Oh, wrong one. That should be 126. Working on the width. Um, 126, so I want to make that 131. Okay. And height, 115. Okay. Apply. Pick up my run line tool. Place node shape, 
rectangle and pull a rectangle. elements right before I go any further minimum length 5 maximum length 7 that's my stitch lengths ok tell that generate stitches transform bring to center Transform, transformation window, scale it, width, oh, right, I want it to be 131, no I don't, I want it to be 1, 2, 5, I want it to mill inside my main frame. Get rid of aspect ratio and make the depth 109 because my hoop is actually 110 millimeters high. Apply and there it is. So I tell that close. Design. Save as hoop eleven by one two full stop six. Save that. Now I'm going to put this into editor and I'm going to let it save it as Chinome. Okay. Save. Now at the moment in Genome I've got the wrong size hoop and I want the standard Genome <coughs> 110 by 126. There it is. OK. And you can just see the little black line inside my Genome hoop. OK. I'm going to go to custom, custom hoop, I'm going to tell that I want that to be 300 by 300, OK. And there is my hoop, or the facsimile of my hoop. Now I want to merge, and this is quite an important step. There he is. OK. Current size. OK. OK. It's saving it now as a Jeff. No, I just want plain Jeff. I don't want Jeff Plus. <sighs> OK, save. Pain in the posterior. And I want to change the colour of that one, so I click on it and I say change colour. And I choose the colour. OK. And now it's red. Now you do need another digitised line. And we have to go back to studio for that. Proceed. Edit. Preferences. Width, we just make that 10. Height, we make that 10. Apply. And I've picked up my run line tool. Minimum length, 5. Of these you want to be able to unpick. 7 for the maximum. OK. I lay a, a node. I lay a node. To, to 
to line. I need to hold my control key down until it generates stitches. That's a little tie stitch there and a little tie stitch there. OK. Compile and put into editor. And that's your vertical. Save. And it wants to save it. Save it as a Jeff. Thank you. I don't want a Jeff Plus. Jeff Plus is suspect. OK. Yes. Thank you. Now, you can see it's gone straight into a 10 by 10 hoop. So I need to go back and I need to say custom. Click on this one. That's the one I want. OK. And there is my vertical line. And I want to change the colour on that one. So change colour. And let's go for a bright red. OK. And I think that's it for this part of the video. As I said, if you don't have Studio, find somebody who has a digitizing software package who will make you a facsimile of your hoop. If you've got more than one hoop, ask for a facsimile of each one and your vertical line. Right. I'll see you in the next video.